Hey guys, it's Mrs. Pickett. I'm back at you with another flipped video. And today we're going to talk about how we can use, um, we can use division to help us divide decimals by one digit whole numbers. So let's go ahead and jump in. And, um, I've got a word problem here that we are going to solve together. And here's how it looks. It says, while on a backpacking trip, Bradley hiked 23 and 6 tenths miles in eight hours. If he hiked the same number of miles each hour, so that's important to know he, he hiked the same number of miles, how many miles did he hike each hour? Okay, so the question is asking us how many miles did he hike each hour? So what that's telling me is I took 23 and 6 tenths of miles and I'm dividing that equally among eight hours. So I can use a model here to show that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So what I need to do here is I need to take 23.6 and, uh, and divide that equally amongst each of these hours. So if I was going to set up a word problem for this, I could do that in one of days. I could say 23 and 6 tenths divided by 8 will give me the number of miles he walked every hour. Or I could say 8 times the miles per hour would give us a total of 23.6. Okay? So now that I know that my problem is 23 and 6 tenths divided by 8, I'm going to use estimation to help me kind of gauge where I'm going to start my division here. So I know that 24 divided by 8 is going to give me a total of 3. If you look over here, I know that I'm putting 8 into 23, which is smaller than 24. So I'm going to assume the first number that I'm going to use is a 2. Okay? As you recall, our first step in division is we are going to um, multiply next. 8 times 2 is going to give me a total of 16. Okay? Then I'm going to subtract to get a 7. As you recall, we need to bring down our next number, which is the 6. Now, here is where we really need to think about decimals a little differently than we did whole numbers. You're going to notice right here we have our decimal point. Our decimal point really doesn't factor into our division at all down at the bottom. But when we get to our final answer, that decimal point is going to be very important. Right now, because the decimal place sits between the 3 and the 6, the 3 is in my 1's place and the 6 is in my 10th's place. So I need to make sure that my decimal climbs up and sits on the same part of my answer. So hopefully you see all I did was just bring that decimal place up. Okay, so now I can keep dividing just as I would. And I know that 8 is going to go into 76 9 times because I know that 9 times 8 is 72. And then I'm going to subtract. I know that 6, 76 minus 72 is going to give me a 4. So because we are working in decimals and we are not working in whole numbers, we have to keep dividing until we don't have any remainders. So now that we're using decimals, we're never going to have a remainder anymore. So let me show you what I mean. If you remember a long time ago when we talked about decimals, we know that 23 and 6 tenths equals 23 and 60 hundredths. Because all I'm doing here is adding a zero. So... Because I can't have a remainder, and right now I do have a remainder, I'm going to annex a zero. I'm going to add a zero in my hundredths place here to turn 4 into 40. Now I can divide 8 into 40 five times. So 8 times 4, excuse me, 8 times 5 is 40, which is going to give me a total down here at zero. So if we rewind back to that question, how many miles 
did Bradley hike each hour, we would say that would be two and 95 hundredths of a mile. So now you guys know how to divide decimals by one digit whole numbers. Thanks so much for watching and your joke for today is why did the horse chew with his mouth open? I'll see you soon.